and uh, I'm using the Superstore sample sheet which comes with W10 and I'm using the sample Superstore data set which is given and uh, the idea is to create the step bar chart all right so for that let's select at least uh, one measure and one dimension so like always let me select in this case category sales and let's create it so here in this case uh, we just have since we have created selected the stack bar chart it has created one stack bar chart what we can do is we can have a multiple stack generally how it comes by let's say regions so in columns i can put regions and now we have a proper uh, stack bar chart if we want by state then we can remove this and select to have it by states and we can see in each of these states how these different categories of uh, products are getting sold and get an idea about it now apart from this uh, what you can do is uh, is basically showing the label um, so let's say here in this case sum of sales is what you have already taken so if you want to display the same information you can display by putting it on the labels and if you want to do a little bit of customization into the labels you can go into labels and you have to you have the information to or the option to uh, change the sum of sales to text to font and alignment marks lib marks to label all or selected highlighted all of that thing and uh, apart from this one of the very interesting thing is uh, you can also control the size of these uh, these parts so what you can do is you can just take the profit as a measure and drag it on the drag let me drag it drag it on the size and it is not i would say a very perfect or a better but somehow i find it little intuitive in which category i have the most profit so here in this case in case of office supplies i have the the most profitable or as a most profitable category and here in case of new york technology is most profitable one so it's it's kind of uh, uh, as i said not a not the visualization you would like to use to put it on the side but sometimes it can be really really helpful to just get an idea oh that's that's the most profitable category or that's where we are giving the most discount so you have these tags you have the information about sales and everything and when you are putting the perspective of size it really makes sometimes a lot of sense to to show it to your management because that's kind of a new chart altogether that you have created because apart from stack and uh, normal bar chart you are actually taking size also into consideration based on the profit and for that you don't really have to do a lot of math in your head and it's become intuitive okay that's where my problems or the good area are and uh, the action that i need to take so that's how you can uh, customize your your stack bar chart and make it meaningful for your end users and that's pretty much all i wanted to tell you in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic